uh, to give you a little bit of idea about how MTG speculation and finance actually works, a lot of it involves luck, um, at least for me. I can only talk about me, but I would say half the time, the cards that have spiked, I don't really, I'm not like particularly interested in. I just have purchased them because they've come with other cards. So this one obviously is linked to another card called Philia. They are, they are in the same set. And when people, Dark Ascension wasn't a great set. People kind of left during Dark Ascension, but they left after buying like a box and realizing this is terrible. And they left during the time, so they didn't leave during Dark Ascension, but they left uh, when Pharos came out. And the reason that is the case is because that's when uh, this one, RTR, was a fantastic set, right? RTR was amazing, I loved it. But when the rotation happened, a lot of people didn't like the Born of the Gods journey into Nyx, all of that type of stuff. So they got rid of their collections. In the collection, there was a ton of these Hunt Masters. And I wanted to purchase these collections mainly for, you know, Philia. And they came with Hunt Masters. I didn't actively look for Hunt Masters. I wasn't trading for them. I wasn't buying them. They just so happened to come in collections I was trading for and buying at the time. Now, Hunt Masters of the Fells went from like $4, I want to say, $5 maybe, to 16 overnight. And at one point, he was more than Olivia, which doesn't really make sense to me, but whatever. The card is very good. Uh, I don't take anything away from the card itself. I just don't feel like it is a $16 card, but it is a f card that is unlikely to be reprinted in any circumstance. It is a card that is extremely difficult to reprint. It is a card that has seen recent play and recent excitement over what it has been able to do recently. So overall, card is not worth $16, but in trade, I mean, now I have nine of them, that's like, what, $54, $144 in trade, which I'm gladly, I would gladly get rid of them at uh, $16. And $16 was what, it was the price that I recently saw for this card, so maybe it's dropped a little bit, but it should be around that price as of, you know, this video going up. So anyway, how massive this felt, it's very interesting to uh, see the card go up like it does. Bye guys.